This video is about differentiating using the chain rule. We use the chain rule when we want to differentiate something with a function in another function. In this case, the bracket, so x squared plus 4x, is a function within another function. So if we rename x squared plus 4x u, so u equals x squared plus 4x, that leaves us with y equals u cubed. So we'll have no problem differentiating u to get du dx and no problem differentiating y to get dy du. What the chain rule tells us is we can get dy dx by multiplying dy du by du dx. So you can think of it as the u's cancel out and you're left with dy dx. So let's do that. So we've got du dx is going to be, we're going to multiply by the power and then take one off the power. So normal differentiation, 2x plus 4 and dy du will be 3u squared. We can get dy dx now. So dy dx is going to be dy du, which is 3u squared, multiplied by du dx, 2x plus 4. But we've got u's and x's still in this, so we need to get rid of the u again by changing it back to x squared plus 4x. So change the u back to x squared plus 4x. And there we have our differentiated function. Okay, so the same question again. And I'm going to show you the quicker way of doing the chain rule. We're going to say dy dx is, and we're going to differentiate around the black bracket normally. We're going to times by 3 and take 1 off the power. So we differentiate around the bracket normally, multiply by the power, take one off the power, and then we're just going to times by the bracket differentiated. So the bracket differentiated, 2x plus 4. And there we have dy dx using the chain rule. Okay, here are some questions. I'm going to go through the first set and then I'll give you a second set where you can pause the video and have a go. So we're going to find dy dx and we're going to be using the chain rule. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to change the square root to a power of a half. Now we're going to differentiate around the bracket. So we're going to multiply by the power and take one off the power. So multiply by a half and take one off the power, so a half, take, take away one, is minus a half. Then we're going to multiply by the bracket differentiated, so x differentiated is 1, and 2x squared differentiated, that's 4x. And we don't need to simplify that any further, there's our answer. The second one, so we're going to differentiate around the bracket, so multiply by the power, 2 fives are 10, I'm going to leave the bracket here, and take 1 off the power, so 5 take away 1 is 4. Now we're going to multiply by the bracket differentiated, which is 2x. Uh, we can simplify this, if we do 10 times 2x, change it to 20x on the front, and leave the bracket as it is. And question three, so we're going to change one over something squared to the power of negative two. So we'll have five x plus five to the power of negative two. Now we're going to differentiate around the bracket. So multiply by the power and take one off the power. And then we're going to multiply by the bracket differentiated which is 5, and we're going to simplify by doing negative 2 times 5, 
which is negative 10. So they have negative 10 on the outside and 5x plus 5 to the power of negative 3. Okay, here's some for you to try. So pause the video and hit play when you're ready to go through them. Okay, the first one, we're going to differentiate around the bracket and then multiply by the bracket differentiated. So dy dx, multiply by the power. So two fours are eight. I'm going to take one off the power. So down to three. Multiply by the bracket differentiated, which is just three. And we're going to simplify by doing eight threes, 24. So that will go on the outside. The bracket stays as it is. And there's our answer. Question two. We're going to differentiate around the bracket. So multiply by negative three. Take one off the power. So that goes to negative four now. And multiply by the bracket differentiated, which is 2x. So simplifying, we will do negative 3 times 2x, which will be negative 6x. That will go outside the bracket, and the bracket will stay as it is. Question 3. So differentiate around the bracket. So 3 on the outside. We leave the bracket. Take one off the power. So down to squared, then multiply by the bracket differentiated, which is 4x plus 5. And we don't need to do anything to simplify that further. So there's our answer.